of birds. She's a small wonder, a child unlike other girls. She's a miracle, and I grant you, she'll enchant you at the sight. She's a small wonder, and she'll make your heart take flight. La, 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 la. Plastic microchips here and there. She's a small wonder. Brings love and laughter everywhere. Hello? We're back from shopping. Is anybody home? Hi. Oh! Don't worry. It's only me, Jaws. <laughs> just when I thought it was safe to go back in the water. Well, I just thought I'd check this stuff out before we go on our company convention to Bermuda. Oh, oh look at this. I bought the cutest swimsuit for our trip. Hmm? Oh, honey, thanks. I'll look adorable in that. <laughs> Practical. I mean, some women look so ridiculous in this tiny swimsuits they can barely squeeze into. Yeah, it's like trying to put a Volkswagen cover on a truck. <laughs> they took this picture of me at the shopping mall. Oh, oh, that's really cute, Vicky. What's this on the back? With the taking of this picture, your little girl is entered as a contestant in the Little Miss Shopping Mall Beauty Contest. Well, they're picking three finalists tomorrow, and the contest is this Sunday. Well, honey, I'm afraid Vicky won't be one of the finalists. I mean, the way those judges look little girls over, I mean, they might just discover she's a robot. But it'd be such good experience for Vicky. Well, I know it was for me when I was in a beauty contest. You were in a beauty contest? Don't look so amazed. Some people thought it was pretty. You are sexy, but practical. <laughs> well, I just can't believe that my shy, retiring wife paraded around in a skimpy little bathing suit. I was only nine years old. I was skimpier than the bathing suit. You could say it was the shortest career in show business. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, honey. I just can't let her be a contestant. It's just too risky. Mm, I suppose you're right. Mm. Well, we better go get dinner on. Come on, Vicky. Let's hurry it up. I'm going to set the table and you can give me a hand. Oh, no! What's the matter? I asked Vicky to give me a hand, and she did. <laughs> oh, great lasagna, honey. Oh, thanks. But you ate too much. You probably get heartburn. Lasagna doesn't give me heartburn. Hi! <laughs> that gives me heartburn. Jamie, you're in luck. You're out of luck. <laughs> Jamie's spending the weekend with his friend, Reggie. But I told him I had the whole weekend planned for him. That's why he's spending the weekend with Reggie. <laughs> what can I do for you, Bonnie? Oh, I just dropped by to show you this lovely swimsuit I got for our company trip to Bermuda. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that going to be kind of revealing for you? Well, you know what they say about vacation. You're supposed to relax and let it all hang out. <laughs> You'll be able to do that without relaxing. <laughs> Mom, that's my swimsuit. Oh, yes. How silly of me. <laughs> Here's mine. <laughs> I brought Jamie this picture of me. Will you give it to him? He can keep it next to his heart. That'll give him heartburn. <laughs> a professional photographer took that while we were shopping. Our Harriet has entered in the Little Miss Shopping Mall contest. You know, they took a picture of Vicky in that contest, too. Oh, Joni, 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 why waste your time? What with Harriet in the contest, she doesn't have a chance. I mean, look at this gorgeous red hair, as opposed to Vicky's mousy mop. Uh -huh. <laughs> mousy mop? 
Well, look at this face. Smile for him, honey. <laughs> Is that a winning smile? And Harriet has such presence. When she talks, people listen. Mommy, can't... Cool it, Mommy's talking. <laughs> so, if you want Vicky to learn about losing at a very tender age, go ahead and enter her in that contest. Oh, honey, show them that winner's bow that I taught you. <laughs> oh, no, honey, like this. <laughs> Come, my little beauty. <laughs> there they go, Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> which is which? <laughs> the woman makes me so angry. Oh, I'd just love it if you could beat Harriet at that contest. Dad said I couldn't be in it. Well, what Daddy doesn't know won't hurt him. I, I'll tell him when the time is right. When will the time be right? Right after the contest. <laughs> Vicky, just in case you're picked as a finalist today in that contest, I wanted to show you how to walk. I'm already programmed tattoo walk. <laughs> no, I, I mean a special kind of walk that girls do in a beauty contest. Now watch. You put a book on your head like this, and then you walk so that the book doesn't fall off. Got it? Here, you give it a try. That's it. Oh, beautiful, Vicky. Graceful. Now turn without the book falling off. <laughs> Vicky, stop. You'll screw yourself into the ground. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Where are your manners? Let's sneak a peek first. <laughs> Hello? Yes, this is Mrs. Lawson. Yes. Oh, oh, really? Oh, that's wonderful. <laughs> oh, oh, we're just thrilled. Oh, well, you betcha. All right. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Oh, Vicky, you were just chosen to be one of the three finalists in the Little Miss Shopping Mall contest Sunday. I'm going to have to think of something special for you to do in the talent part of the contest. Now, this is our little secret. Hmm? Our little secret. Hmm? <laughs> now, we better get to work. Get to work. Oh, that's it, Vicky. Oh, beautiful. Gracefully. Oh, that's great, Vicky. That's right. Turn, Vicky. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, are we in trouble? You can't even walk without bumping into the furniture. <laughs> Mom, I'm built for speed, not accuracy. She's not going to beat you in that contest, kiddo. You go on home and Mommy will take care of it. Oh, boy. You going to do something sneaky? Well, of course. What's a loving mother for? <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Straight back. Nice and poised. Hi. Loved one's home. <laughs> Stop, Vicky. What's going on? What you don't know won't hurt you. <laughs> You're just fooling around, honey. Uh, Vicky's practicing being a bookcase. A bookcase, huh? Wouldn't have anything to do with that beauty contest, would it? It's our little secret. <laughs> <laughs> I thought so. Ted, keep an open mind. Don't say no until you've heard the news. Okay, what's the news? The people from the contest just called, and Vicky has been named one of the three finalists. Yeah? Now I'll say no. <laughs> Go to your cabinet, Vicky. That was the shortest career in show business. <laughs> Hollywood scandal. <laughs> Oh, I'm so excited. I just dropped over to tell you that my beautiful Harriet has been chosen one of the finalists in the Little Miss Shopping Mall contest. Oh, really? Well, it just so happens that Vicky was, too. Oh, yes, so I overheard. I, so they told me. 
Well, relax, Bonnie. Vicky won't be giving Harriet any competition. Oh, well, that goes without saying. <laughs> I'm sure that you're very excited about that wonderful company trip to Bermuda. Well, of course we are. And you just hate to kiss it goodbye, which you could do if Vicky's in that contest. Bonnie, that sounds like a threat. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Just consider it a friend pointing out what could happen. You know, my husband, Brandon, he's just desperate for Harriet to win that contest, and he is your boss, and he just might do something silly. Like when he married you. <laughs> no! Oh, well, now that we understand each other, I'm sure you want to call those shopping mall people and tell them that Vicky is not going to be in the contest. No way, Bonnie. Vicky is in that contest to win. Oh, Ted! Well, I'm sure that you just might want to change your mind. Let me put it to you this way, Bonnie. No, 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 no. <laughs> is going to be great. Mom, I'm kind of nervous. I guess I'm glad Jamie's not here to see his woman sweat. <laughs> I hope I don't blow it. Oh, honey, you'll be fine. Now, just remember, you're talented. You're beautiful. We love you. And if you don't win, life as you know it will be over. <laughs> Two minutes to showtime. Vicky's gonna look so cute doing that song and dance number that I taught her. Oh, <laughs> even better than I did it when I was a kid. Well, honey, uh, she uh, she won't be doing that uh, song and dance number. I uh, <clears throat> I sort of uh, reprogrammed her uh, with something a little bit more uh, spectacular. <laughs> I want her to win. <clears throat> <laughs> What's she gonna do? You'll see. Well, I hope you've uh, prepared your child for the agony of defeat. Well, it just so happens that we think Vicky's going to win. Oh, of course. And if I had wings, I could fly. She'd never get it off the ground. <laughs> ah, yes. Thank you, thank you. I'm Louis Sparks, your master of ceremonies, and welcome to our Little Miss Shopping Mall Contest. Oh, I just got back from Las Vegas. It's the only place in the whole world you can arrive in a $10,000 car and leave in a $300,000 bus. <laughs> <laughs> but they got a new slot machine there now. Takes unemployment checks. <laughs> These are the jokes, folks. Uh, that's the last joke I'll ever buy from Jack Palance. <laughs> but, Enough of this bombastic hilarity. It's time now to meet our wonderful three finalists, and here they are. <laughs> Hello, what's your name? Ellen Sue Beasley. And how old are you? I'm 12. Are you married? No, divorced. <laughs> <laughs> And who do we have here? Hi, I'm vivacious Harriet Brindle. <laughs> and how old are you? I'm a worldly nine. And tell me, why would you like to become Little Miss Shopping Mall? So I can be a beauty contest winner, like my mother. <laughs> you mean uh, she was a former Miss America? No. Uh, Miss Universe? I do the jokes, kid. You should see her. It's no joke. <laughs> and what is your name, little girl? My name is Vicki Lawson. I'm 11 years old. I'm not married. I'm not divorced. I'm not worldly. And my mother's not a lettuce head. <laughs> I know enough not to fool around with this kid. Well, thank you, girls. You can go off stage now.
Well, comes time now for our talent competition. And leading off with a fantastic rendition of the Saints Go Marching In, Alan Sue Beasley! <laughs> rendition of the Saints Go Marching In quite like that. She really rendered it. <laughs> and now, to dance her way right into your hearts, contestant number two, Harriet Brindle. <laughs> She's a very patriotic bee. <laughs> and now for our third and last contestant, the lovely, adorable Miss Vicki Lawson. <laughs> Sings like a bird, and she's only 11 years old. Yes, she's a minor bird. <laughs> a minor bird. Uh, well, let's have the other girls on stage here now with the judge's decision. Come on out, girls. <laughs> you were all wonderful girls, but unfortunately, there can only be one winner. So let's see who the judges choose. The envelope, please. And the winner of this year's Little Miss Shopping Mall contest is... 
Ellen Sue Beasley? Ellen Sue Beasley? <laughs> We'd like to congratulate Ellen Sue on her victory and also congratulate her parents who happen to be the owners of this beautiful shopping mall. <laughs> So are the judges. <laughs> well, you did a great job on Vicky, honey. Oh, here's the paper. Thanks. It's only fitting that she didn't win. It's not fair pitting a robot against a little girl. It's not fair pitting a robot against the daughter of a shopping mall owner. <laughs> well, at least the Brindles can console themselves in Bermuda. That is great. That is just <laughs> great. <laughs> well, what's so great about the Brindles going to Bermuda? We're not. Neither are they. Hurricane's going to hit the area. All flights in have been canceled. <laughs> <laughs> really? yeah. Oh, that's wonderful. Well, Except Bermuda's going to be missing out on a treat. Hmm? Bonnie swimming around in that teeny weeny bikini. <laughs> just when you thought it was safe to go back in the water. <laughs> She's a small wonder, brings love. 